Dun 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 the 2013 Anova Violin Competition. This year, I asked you guys to do some kind of service project in order to win the violin. And I was overwhelmed by how many people did amazing acts of service. We had over 500 submissions from all over the world. We were from Australia to Brazil to France. And um, I was just really um, touched by the story. So I couldn't pick just one winner again. So I picked three. But before I get to the winners, I just want to share with you guys some of the stories that I had the privilege of seeing. And so, check out what people did. The Czech and Slovak fan club uh, raised money and donated over a thousand dollars worth of gifts to an orphanage in Prague. Then they spent several hours playing with the kids. All over the world, people gave gifts and food to those in need. Here's a picture of Justin, and he and his friend donated a lot of food to some local food banks. Justin also shared a story about how he was at a restaurant, and he overheard a woman and her son having trouble paying for their dinner. So he anonymously paid for their dinner for them. A few days ago, I was shopping with my mom, and I found a letter. It was a letter to Santa. I came to this another supermarket, and I saw a big Christmas tree with cards of the same family from this letter. So I thought, I need to help them. I asked all my neighbors for clothes and food. Check this out. Here's a picture of Pedro Ruiz from Mexico City. And he was inspired by his grandma. So he made pinatas for the homeless, the poor, and the needy. We're at St. Andrews helping the children out with Santa at St. Andrews. <laughs> Dylan was in the subway when he noticed a man that looked completely lost and confused. So he went over to help him and ended up spending his entire day helping Wei get to the airport, um, solve some security issues, and get checked in. It was probably really inconvenient, but he spent his whole day helping him and was probably an angel to Wei that day. It's a really sweet story. You can read it on my blog. Just interesting. Go animals, they have rights too. I'd like to pay for the people behind us. Yeah, can you give them a 20 and that card? Okay. The smiles for you. Rejoice in the Lord always. I need to play somewhere. So I don't have it a stage. There's a hundred bucks for you. Whoa! Yeah. What heck what's wrong with you, man? Are you are you rich? No. <laughs> Alessandro Rossi got his whole school involved. The typhoon left many areas without electricity, so Alessandro and his classmates raised 500 euros and were able to send 13 solar lamps to the building. He called his project the Gift of Light. This girl did 100 acts of service. Some were big, some were small. They were things like putting up an elderly couple's Christmas lights, doing her little sister's hair, babysitting her siblings, cleaning, Marie and Ingbild are 13-year-old girls. They live in Norway and they're best friends. Together, they knitted hats and blankets to send to newborn babies in Tanzania. Julie from the Netherlands helped her school raise money for the ASAPT project in Africa. We want to give access and better education to the children and poor children. Uh, with the distribution of mosquito nets to fight uh, malaria and uh, drinkable water, uh, for the people in the village. They also raised enough money so their teachers could go and teach health and fitness and well-being to the kids there. Lexine shared a really touching story that I absolutely loved. She said, I'm 14 years old and there's a girl on my bus who gets bullied and cuts herself. 
Your earbuds got stolen, so I gave her a pair of mine. She thanked me because they were the nice apple kind and her family doesn't have a lot of money. The next day, she said that those got stolen. So for Christmas, I bought her two pairs, one that are nice apple ones and ones that are cheap skull candy. I told her to keep the apple ones at home and use the skull candy ones at school. She was so thankful. Since then, her earphones haven't been stolen. I'm very happy I could make a small difference in her life. I love that. What better way to spread God's love and joy than through music? Over the last several years, Keith Field gave up almost everything he had in order to purchase a giant bus and turn it into a long distance travel platform for disabled veterans so they could get insurance and help that they have earned. The number one reason that veterans don't have health insurance is because of the lack of their transportation to get it. Our veterans deserve it, they need it. As far as I'm concerned, as I recall, somebody said to me once, we never leave a guy out on the battlefield, we go back and get it. Why will we bring him home to the agenda? That to me is wrong. Third place goes to this next contestant here. Cecilia is an 18 year old girl who lives in Guatemala and she and five of her friends along with some other volunteers helped a family build a home. This family lived in a rotting aluminum shelter on a 10 by 6 foot piece of land and so Cecilia and her friends helped them build a really sturdy wooden house. They worked in the mud and the dirt for three whole days and you know changed this family's life. All right, our second place winner goes to Benjamin. Benjamin didn't have a video because this isn't something you can really film, so I'm gonna read his email. He said, I've been putting away $75 from each paycheck, and once every two weeks, I wait for a customer I hear is having a rough time, and I ask if they'd let me pay for their groceries. It is an amazing feeling to help someone out, and the customers are always extremely grateful. I've even had one person start crying, telling me how amazing that was, and how it was just the perfect timing. Um, I love that story because this is something that he's put into his life. It's something that he does on a regular basis um, to always make a difference to someone. And our winner, drum roll please, goes to... Chrisline from Brazil. I'm Chrisline from Pernambuco, Brazil. Me and my mom decided to give a funny day to children from a poor village surrounded by sugarcane fields in Ipojuca city. As we didn't have any resources to make it, we asked to help two friends. Then, people from many towns joined us, donating food, drinks, candies, toys and also they came to play with kids to talk about Jesus and the real meaning of Christmas and to make haircuts as people there don't have money for that. I'm really impressed about how many people joined us, even people from another states of Brazil. We got a bus full of people. Oi Lindsay, eu vim do Rio de Janeiro para ajudar a Cristal. Oi Lindsay!
thank you so much to everyone who joined in this and participated. Literally, this kind of changed the way I think about service, actually. Seeing the kind of things that you guys did, it's made me start to look for all kinds of opportunities around me every day because they're there, opportunities for me to just do something kind for somebody else. And um, I hope you had a great experience, and um, I love you guys. I really do. I'll look up, I'll search for a sign. It's all I can do